Have you ever been in that position where you've committed a sin and you just don't know how to move past it? You don't know how to move on. You don't know what to do. So here's the five-step program to move past that sin. First step, number one, never belittle that sin. Never look at your sin and say to yourself, it's too small, who cares, why even bother? Number two, don't let the sin continue. Immediately stop the sin that you're doing. Don't let this one sin lead you to further sins. Don't let this one sin make you commit even more sins. Step number three, positive regret. Yes, it is a good thing to feel regret. It is a good thing to be regretful, but we say positive regret because the positive regret is the type of regret that leads you to repentance and to forgiveness. And that's part of this step, that when you feel regret, you seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you ask Allah to forgive you and you repent. One of the ways that you can do that is to pray two rak'ahs of prayer. Just go make wudu, purify yourself, pray two rak'ahs of prayer and ask Allah to forgive you for this sin. Number four, be thankful. And I know you may think to yourself, why would I be thankful in a time where I've just committed a sin? Be thankful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you the chance to seek forgiveness from this sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have taken your life before you ever had a chance to repent, before you ever had a chance to seek forgiveness. And that's something to be thankful for, that you were able to seek forgiveness for this sin. Lastly, fifth and final and very important step is to never lose hope in the mercy and forgiveness of Allah. No matter how many times you've committed this sin before, never tell yourself that Allah won't forgive you. Never tell yourself, what's the point? I'm just going to come back to this sin again. Never lose hope in the mercy and forgiveness of Allah.